Um, yeah, it doesn't show blue chickens here. Like I said, I think it's just going to be a random shot. But I guess we'll just take our chances. Choose a coop for your white chicken. No! No, I don't want a white chicken. Hey, guys and gals, welcome back to Stardew Valley with yours truly, Pablo Pudge with level 19 Granger. Happily married man. It's been like three days, four days? Four days of marriage. It's so awesome. Where is Leah? I want to give her a morning hug. It's Wednesday the 10th, by the way, 6 o'clock in the morning. There she is in the kitchen. Hold on, Leah. Let me just check the weather. Cloudy with a light breeze tomorrow. Lots of pollen. I think there's going to be a lot of pollen in the air today as well. And a little extra luck. little extra luck. I was so lucky to meet you, Leah. Good morning, Punchwood. I've planted these in a little pot out back. <gasps> you just gave me a horseradish. I don't believe it. What are the odds that she just gave us a horseradish? With that song about horseradish, right? And the fact that I gave her radish one time and called her radish. And you look radish. And you have it right back. It's yours. This is a really nice gift, thank you. Anytime, I already had two, I already have two. Oh, that was so sweet. And I grew that with great love and attention, enjoy it. Oh, thanks, honey, that was awesome. And I need a little to go, a little gas to go. Okay, excellent. Now let's put this stuff in here that we bought yesterday. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff that we need to get rid of and unload and then we'll get started. Oh yeah, Dwarf Scroll 4, we gotta bring that to Gunther today. And what else do we want to do? Oh, we gotta go buy a blue chicken! Gotta buy a chicken. It might not even be blue. Oh, look at all that pollen in the air! Yuck! Okay, let me just dump everything out here, guys. And then we're gonna get rolling. I'm gonna go run right down south to Marnie's and get that stinking bird! She better be there. She better be working. Oh, look at the parsnips grew in a, in a night! They literally grew overnight? Didn't I just grow those yesterday? <gasps> wow, that was fast. All right, let's check the mail. It's from Demetrius. Dear Punchwood, I was conducting a field study the other day, and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did. Oh, a bream. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> okay, well, not so interesting. We'll put it in the uh, in the fish box. Do we have a bream in here already? No, just in case someone wants one. There we go. Oh, and why don't we throw some trash in the trash bin here? Throw that in there. Boom. Okay, yeah, let me do the morning chores and all that fun stuff, and then we're gonna head down to, um, yeah, we're gonna go down to Marty's and get that, uh, get the boity, hopefully. All right, today is Vincent's birthday. I do remember that from the last episode, so let's bring him a pink cake. I mean, what kid doesn't like a pink cake, huh? And I'm gonna bring maple syrup for the community center because we forgot to drop it off. Last time. Hi, Leah. You going on about your day? All right, I'm going to go now. Okay, we'll see you later. Give me that hug. All right, bye. Have a nice day. Okay, yeah, so let's, um, well, first things first. Let's go see if we can buy a, a chicken at Marnie's. Hopefully, we get a blue one because I think it's just like a random chance. Can you get through there? Uh, I guess I'll close that. Yeah, it's a random chance. You might get a regular chicken or the blue. I don't know what the odds are. But hopefully the odds are good, and we get a blue chicken. I hope anyway. Oh, look at that. There's a horseradish right here. Boom. Another one. All right, bud, you stay here. Oh, finally you're here. Oh, don't act like all of a sudden you want to help me because I've been here for the last three days straight, and you're never here. All right. I want to purchase animals. I want a chicken. Um, yeah, it doesn't show blue chickens here. Like I said, I think it's just going to be a random shot. But I guess we'll just take our chances. Choose a coop for your white chicken. No! No, I don't want a white chicken. Oh! <gasps> I hit escape and we're back. Give me the blue chicken. White chicken, no. <laughs> oh, this is great. I didn't know you could even do this. But is it going to keep just offering me a blue chicken? We got the blue chicken. Woohoo! Yes! Seems a little cheap and cheaty, but I don't care. Blue chicken. Groupie? Oh, no, 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 not groupie. I haven't really thought of a name either. I gotta come up with a name. Let's call her Jazz. Yeah, like the flower. We get blue jazz flowers. I think that's a, that's a pretty little name for a little chicken. Jazz. All right, thanks, Marty. Great, I'll send little Jazz to her new home right away. Wait, by herself? What if she gets mugged or kidnapped? 
Chicken napped. You can use the scythe to cut feed from grass. Oh, great. Transaction's over. Now you're just kicking me out. Or you can buy it from me, of course. Oh, sure. Hard sell. <laughs> I could use the cash. I just bought a blue chicken. Adios. Fine. Whatever, lady. Actually, what do you have now? Supplies. Shears. Heater. Yeah, I don't need any of that. I don't have a sheep. Yeah. Bye. All right. We got our blue chicken. That is amazing. I'm so excited. Can't wait to get home to check it out. However, I want to go see if that crazy seller's over here. I want to get that sandfish, maybe. And then we can donate that to the uh, to the community center. But I don't think now... They're only here on the weekends, I think. Darn it. I think just Sunday or something? All right, well, let's go to town. We'll go give Vincent his gift. We'll visit uh, Gunther. Give him the dwarf scroll. Stop at the community center. And then we'll go home and visit our chicken. Let's go see if um, little Vinny's around here. Oh, there's Kent. Hello, Kent. Where's your Where's Vincent? You've been here a while now, haven't you? Your farm must be thriving. Yes, it is indeed. You should stop by and see it any time, okay? I'd give you something, but I don't think I have anything for you. All right. Goodbye. Vincent's not here. He's hopefully outside enjoying this lovely spring day. Uh, maybe he's at school, actually, right? There's Louie. Yeah, I'm sure we'll bump into him eventually. Oh, there's there's his mom, Jody and Sam. Oh! Uh, shoot, I had to give Sam a parsnip. Oh, I don't have one on me. I forgot to bring it. I mean, it wasn't worth much money. But what is this egg festival coming up? Oh, cool. All right. Well, I don't see Vincent here. You know what? Sometimes he's with Miss Penny. Who's that? No, that's Alex. Yeah, he might be over here with his teacher. It is school day, right? It's Wednesday. So he might be in the school, which is inside here. Let's go see. Yep, there he is. All right, I don't want to interrupt the class. So let's just go give Gunny his thing here. Donate to the museum. Right there, man. Right there next to the other dwarf scrolls. We've got one spot left for the last one, Gunny. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunt, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it all before. All right. Hey, um, Vincent, I hate to interrupt class here, Miss Penny. But I know it's his birthday, and I'd like to celebrate. Hey, Vincent! Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. That's right. You should read that book. But since it's your birthday, I got something for you. Happy birthday! You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Anytime, kiddo. Hope you have a nice day. Let's just say hi to Jazz. Hi, Jazz. Hi. I know it's not your birthday. I don't have a cake for you. I'm sorry. But you can take this um, little teddy bear right here and bring him home, okay? All right. Goodbye. Sorry to disturb you guys. Some books to read up here, but I don't, I'm don't. i not in the mood. Not in the mood to read. Let's go. Where do we go now? Community center? I guess so. I don't know what to do today. I guess we go back and see our chicken. We finally got a blue one. Oh, there's a daffodil. Might as well grab it. At this point, we just really need to make money and start unlocking the new places in town. Like, we got that skull key, but we can't get to the desert or something until we unlock the bus and the glittering boulder and all that jazz. Oh, you pushed me right back on top of my horse. Hmm, tax collection, spring festivities, expenses, and whatever. Oh, you having a rough day there, Louie? Yes, I guess he is. Uh, never mind. Go back to do what you're doing. Well, you know what? Harvey's over here. I never talked to Doc Harvey. Hey, Doc, what you doing in the park? Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Yes, of course. You think Doc would like a... Think Doc would like a daffodil? <laughs> I doubt it. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. All right. Yeah, one whole heart with the Doc. I hope I never get sick and have to see him. He might accidentally cut something that he shouldn't cut off. Oh, hi, ladies. Uh, let's just share the wealth here. Ooh, that's a nice one, though. I'm giving that one away. I'm gonna hang on to that gold one. <laughs> Hi, Haley. What's your gift? For me? Thank you. Yeah, sure. Anytime. Have a nice day. There are only two things I like about this town. One of them is the beach. And hey, what's the other one? The other one is secret giggle. Oh, okay. Uh, I wonder if she still has a crush on old Pudgewood here. It seems like it. Hi there. Do you have everything you need for the farm? 
I do, and I got something for you, Caroline. Oh, goodness, are you sure? I sure am. That's why I gave it to you. Have a nice day. All right. Let's, uh, let's get to that community center. No kids on the swing set over here. Well, that's because they're at school. It makes sense. Like Vincent said, you got to read first before you can play. All right, maple syrup. That goes over here. Um, the chef's bundle. There we go. Getting pretty close to this one. I don't have a poppy, though. Should we donate 10 grand to this thing? Ugh, I just feel like it's not going to do anything. You're still going to get 25 anyway. We get a little present, but that's not worth it. Get to that eventually. Um, now what? Man, it's only 340. Wow. I guess we could just go home and see our blue chicken. Let's go do that. Here we are back at the ranch slash farm. And I see we got some honey is up. That's about it, huh? Oh, and a piece of coal. All right, bud, you stay right here. Whoop, wow, that was talent. And close that. There's a little baby blue chicken. Did you see how adorable he is hiding in the grass? Hey, Jazz, come out here, Jazz. Jazz, come here, little buddy. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Hi, Jazz. Her age one month baby. Jazz seems curious, but a little cautious. She's getting used to the new home. Oh, you're adorable little blue chicken. How nice. All right, well, we're not going to get eggs from Jazz for a while. And I wonder if Jazz lays blue eggs. Oh, did you see her just run inside? She's a little shy, just getting used to the... Oh, you hungry? Would you like to eat? Oh, everybody's coming inside. Five o'clock, I guess the, the street lights come on. Yep, everybody's here. All right. Um, can you guys show Jazz the, the, the ropes? You know, show her around, make her feel at home. Make sure she's getting enough to eat. She's sleeping well here on the, on the hay, okay? She's just a little baby. Little blue baby. <laughs> she's so cute. All right, you guys are all indoors, safe and sound. Let's close that. We don't want a fox or a coyote to get in there and eat all our chickens, especially the expensive blue chicken. Well, I guess they're all expensive, really. Uh, all right, so what else we got? Oh, let's get the um, parsnips. I can't believe these things grew so fast. And I should have bought more seeds when I was there. Oh, but we can make a seed thingy. We can make a seed maker. Seed maker, 25 wood, 10 coal, and... Uh, one gold bar. We can do that right now. It's a lot of coal. Do we even need to make a seed maker? Oh, these things are up too. Woo-wee. All right, well, let's grab the garlics. Grab them garlics. Fantastic. Oh, by the way, did we get a golden? We got five golden parsnips that time. Awesome, but we're still going to need five melons or pumpkins. We can't grow those during this season, unfortunately. All right. Excellent. So, hold on. Let me grab that. Grab that. Man, I keep forgetting to water these guys. There we go. Yeah, they're out of the range of the uh, sprinklers, and it doesn't look like Leah is watering them. <laughs> I thought she watered the plants. She doesn't? All right. Well, thanks, Wilson, for reminding me. I'm going to have to take care of that. All right. Put this stuff away. Uh, yeah, give me a moment here to get organized. You don't belong in there, cheese. And then um, we'll go do something exciting. I don't know what. Okay, let's make the seed maker. 25 wood, 10 coal, 1 golden bar. So I hate using up my coal, to be honest. And we're running a little low on wood, too. Yeah, I don't know how useful this thing's going to be for us. We don't really do that much farming, but it's something new. And it's always fun to play with new stuff. Right, so let's put our seed maker. How about over here? Can't imagine we're going to use it that often. Uh, can we put it right over here by the fence? Sure, right over here. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way of uh, Wilson's running around and playing. And now I've got a bunch of veggies stuff here that we can turn into seeds. Does this take like a really long time or can I just stand here and do it all at once? No, don't eat it. Oh man, it takes forever. I thought maybe I could do um, a whole bunch of things all at one time. I mean, really? One seed at a time? Oh, that was fast. Okay, that's actually pretty fast, but... Seems like a lot of maintenance to stand here and wait. Oh, but we got three seeds per! Oh, does it always give three, or is it a random number? Oh, that's good. I thought it was going to be a one-to-one. -one. That would have been terrible. Okay, that time it was a one. So I guess it's a random 
Maybe one, one to three? All right, well, let's... Oh, what was that? Ancient seed? What the heck? Gave me an ancient seed, I put a parsnip in, and I got an ancient seed? So I guess it does not matter what you put in there. How about a garlic? I mean, the chances are you're going to get what you put in, right? But maybe you just have this small random chance to get an ancient seed, like this one. Could these still grow? Ooh, well, we're going to have to plant that ancient seed. Yeah, see, that's definitely, um... Definitely garlic. Okay. Well, it's fun to experiment. Like I said, these new things are kind of fun. Okay. Nine parsnip seeds. Let's get some garlic going. I'm going to go get these parsnips in the ground. Yeah, I might want to bring that down here a little closer to the actual farmland. <laughs> but where? Yeah, I guess down here, right? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm going to move this down closer to the actual crops so I don't have to keep running back and forth. How about right down here near Witchy Poo? Witchy Poo won't seem to mind. You don't mind, do you, Witchy Poo? Put it right here. Fantastic. All right, drop another garlic seed in there, and let's go ahead and plant all this garlic. All right, that's it. That's all the garlic we need to put in the ground for now. And does this water look hy uh, does this ground look hydrated to you? It should be hydrated. But I'm not sure. Let me grab a bucket and just make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, what do we do with this ancient seed? What should we do with the ancient seed? Can we grow it now? Like during spring? I do not know. Should we put it down here with all of our... This is where we're going to have all of our fruity trees. Maybe right here. Um, let's put an ancient seed right here so it'll get watered. I hope it grows in the spring. I don't know. But that way I won't forget about it like I do my flowers over there. I don't want the thing to die. It's an ancient seed. Sounds awesome. All right. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're done here with this particular episode. Let's go to bed and call it quits for now. And there's Leah all tucked in bed. Good night, Leah. Here endeth day teneth of springeth year toeth. Twenty-one uh, two thousand one hundred fifty dollar ruskies. We didn't really sell very much, did we? Hmm. All right, better than nothing, and that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care.